this is uh, Chris Shermelhorn. Um, kind of online, I've heard a little confusion as to when and where and what to use some of these new thermoplastic mill milling uh, materials. Um, so the three I'm going to talk about today are the Zerlux Acetyl, the Duraflex, and the Visiclear pucks. These come in 15, 20, and 25 millimeters, so you can pretty much mill just about anything you'd want to. I want to start out with the Zerlux Acetyl. The Zerlux Acetyl um, can come in tooth color. It comes in uh, bleaching shade B1, A1, A2, A35, and a pink shade. This is the uh, pink that's available. This material is, um, has some stiffness to it. Um, class can be a little more traditionally designed. It's probably our most universal material because you could do flexible clasps, partial frames, you could do uh, uh, unilaterals, bite splints, you can do crown and bridge cases. Because it's very strong, ten, eight to 10 times stronger than PMMAs, doesn't absorb any moisture, it really makes for an ideal choice for those temporary. So really you can use it in every department of your lab. Um, so some examples here is the tooth colored version. It's an A2. I have a framework there that you'll apply acrylic saddles to just as you would a metal frame. Here you have a unilateral, the teeth, everything is part of this. Uh, and this would snap into place. Um, so really universal, semi-flexible um, material. We jump from that to our Duraflex. Our Duraflex material is pink, all right? Um, this comes um, a more translucent pink, very flexible, all right? Um, as you can see, it looks kind of like a mm, stark pink, but as you were to thin this out, you can see it gets nice and pale and, and blends itself in nicely. All right, this material is going to be used for your flexible frameworks as well as clasps with like a tailpiece that you could embed in acrylic. Um, you know, things of that nature. Crown bridge is really out here. You're going to make a pink tooth or something like that. So this is strictly right now in your uh, removable side for, again, framework, um, um, you know, uh, clasps, things like this. Now, the <clears throat> Duraflex and the Visiclear are essentially the same material, just one is clear, doesn't have any pink in it, and the other one has pink, right? So they're kind of interchangeable in the things that I talk about as far as what can be made, um, kind of depending on whether you want something clear or pink. So um, here's your clear, okay, kind of looks, not clear, kind of looks whitish. Um, but again, I don't have an example of it necessarily here to show like this one, but as it thins out, it gets much more clear as you can see here. So you can see the light passing through. Optically crystal clear, you really don't want in the mouth, right? And so um, it shows shadows, dark spots, and that's why it has a little bit of the haze. It really blends in nicely. So again, for the Duraflex and the Visiclear, you're looking at frameworks, right? As you can see here, right? Or as you can see on this case here, a framework that fits, it's gonna have acrylic um, and teeth supplied to the saddles. Um, you can do the clasps with tail pieces to embed in acrylic. Those work really, really nice. Also, um, with the clear, you can actually do a bite split, and it makes for a nice, comfortable bite split. Also, um, kind of for clinchers, it's nice because the clinchers kind of squish into it slightly. There's different philosophies on that, but I. I don't think it's an extremely wear resistant. I mean, it's gonna wear as nice as your acrylic would, but it's not gonna be an exorbitantly resistant appliance. So don't sell it that way. Um, so that kind of covers everything that we're, we're you know, kind of questions that have to do with doing these, um, these new millable flexible materials. Um, I hope this answers all your questions. And uh, if not, uh, give uh, these companies a call and they'll be able to get those answered. Um, it's Christian Mahorn. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for listening.